Hello everybody, this is Mel from Melamori Nursery. So I'm going to try something very different today. And I'm hoping that I can do this and fix the camera at the same time. So just if you'll excuse me, folks. Uh, <laughs> because I haven't seen you all in a good minute. Oh, my goodness. Uh, have patience with me, folks. These are the trials. Molly will just have to sit here and wait. Look up, darling. So I'm just going to go at a screen for one second, and I'm not going to bother even editing. So just give me a second, folks, okay? Now, if this was a 1950s etiquette show, <clears throat> please forgive me. In the back here, there is Lammy, which is Prayer Bear, and Christmas Bear. Okay, and here is little shy Molly. And because Molly is a very, very big girl, isn't she? So sweet. Uh, she is my only real toddler. And um, I, I really wanted to bring her on because Theme Thursday this week is hosted by Yvonne at Having You On. Uh, the colors are black, white, and red, and Molly's Christmas dress is those colors. In fact, this is Molly's Christmas dress. And so part of me was going to attempt to dress her uh, and then just film um film Molly uh, and then connect her um, and then I don't know chat or do whatever she left Zuli upstairs didn't you uh, my daughter brought her down for me <laughs> so and my daughter is actually uh, she's she's not going to do anything and uh, she's just sitting over there in case I need her so uh, she's camera shy. She doesn't want to be on here. And I told her I wanted to try doing the, the filming. So my daughter is actually, yeah, sitting over in the sidelines. And she's opting not to participate because I'm an independent person. Uh, so, uh, but this little girl is so sweet in her Hello Kitty dress. And... Um, she absolutely is look at these little these little shoes she's just so sweet with her red hair so i figured i would change her on my lap and um get her ready for the season and hopefully i can do that and this way you guys can all see i'm not dead yet <laughs> I'm not dying. I'm not any of that. Uh, I do not have a, uh, the, um, I have my old brace on, so you can't actually see it. Uh, it's the, the new brace was told to come off because of, uh, another something that's creeped up that they figured that that new brace, um, they figured the new brace was uh, too snug, uh, so uh, it's got to be refitted. Um, so Molly does not have a spine, and she is the Ellen Sculpt by Connie Berg, and there's only 550 
yeah, 550 of this sculpt. Uh, and I do not recall, sadly, who has uh, reborn her. And um, at this moment, folks, I, I just wanted to get a video uh, on and to see if I could change her on my lap because I have to practice my posture. And, uh, <laughs> and I would practice, rather practice my posture with a reborn doll than with my grandchildren. So I am going to be changing her um, as you all look on. <laughs> and poor Molly, how are we going to do this, darling? Are we going to pull it down your arm? Um, yeah, so Molly doesn't have a spine. To add a spine to her would have been more than another pound and a half, two pounds uh, for her body. And I didn't want her to have a spine. So the artist, when she asked me if Molly should have a spine, I... Um, because I, I found this particular doll, um, on eBay and, um, she was, uh, basically not complete at that moment. Um, because she, um, aren't these slippers sweet? I'm just going to show you these slippers. These are the only slipper shoes that I have that fit her and they're super super soft um and i've actually got tights so i've got tights and a sweater and whatnot and she is wearing a humphreys corner long sleeve um white with polka dots onesie and it's going to stay on even under the dress because i plan on putting a sweater on her and i'm not going to get too complicated with uh that and I believe her tights are tucked in underneath it. So all I will have to do then is just to unsnap her. But you see, like I said, I would rather experiment with my, um, my toddler uh, reborns than with my grandchildren. And uh, is it, honey, is it Saturday? Yeah, okay, so Saturday. Um, Saturday the kids are coming so um, so in a way Miss Molly is going to help me because uh, that way I know in my mind um, what I'm capable of and I can forewarn my middle daughter and she can tell my grandchildren what I can do and what I can't do but uh, my granddaughter is um, well she's six and a half and my grandson is um, eight and a half. So they, they're phenomenal children. Um, she doesn't have a diaper. She wears big girl panties. Um, and uh, they're very, very excellent um, children. Um, and they call me Marmy. And I wanted to tell you the story about how my grandchildren came to call me Marmy. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> please excuse me, folks. When there's inflammation, I have a condition where the inflammation, uh, the spine goes to the back of your neck up th and, and presses against the vocal cords from the bottom of your spine doesn't matter how I sit, where I lay, what I do, doesn't matter. It all feels the same, <laughs> folks. It all feels the same. Doesn't matter. Uh, my daughter uh, braided my hair. Otherwise, I would look like a bag of hammers. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why she won't come over here. She's so camera shy. Uh, so... But she knows me and she knows that I'm determined to do this uh, because I don't, I don't want my grandchildren to, to have fear. Now these tights say zero to three months, but they stretch. And so Molly is going to get them on 
there's lots of pink on this uh, onesie, but like I said, uh, I just had my daughter grab her, not grab her, but bring her down for me. And these are more cream tights. They're not white tights, but then I have a cream sweater. So she's going to have a white and black dress with a red bow. Somewhere she has a red head, head bow. Did I drop it? Please say I didn't drop it. Oh, I dropped it. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Just one second, folks. Okay. Got it. She's got this red bow. Okay. So I pray you guys aren't looking at me and saying, what the heck is she doing? She's making me uncomfortable. And if I'm making you uncomfortable, I apologize. Uh, it's not my intention. So many of you, um, so, so many of you have wanted to know how I've been. Uh, so now you can see in person, I am just doing fine. I've had video uh, chats with many of you. Uh, you all know who you are and you know I love you. Uh, many of you. Um, so I'm just going to put Molly uh, down <laughs> in a very awkward position so her bum's in the air so that I could just haul these tights up because I have to do things my way. So my grandchildren, yes, they call me Marmy because I love Louisa May Elcock and her story, Little Women. And I was really influenced by that book when I was a young, young adult. Um, probably read that book when I was about eight or nine years old. And um, when I had children, I wanted to be Marmy, just like that, that book. Uh, but the kids had a very traditional father and he just wanted to be known as mom and dad. So, um, oh goodness, I can't see the snaps. <laughs> oh, well, you know what, folks, if this is all the trouble I have in the world, um, it's not a huge trouble. And this channel is about having fun sometimes too. So, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, what can you do? Am I hitting you in the face, little girl? <laughs> um, so I vowed that when my children had children, should they have children, that I was going to be Marmy. And uh, ironically, I have a German last name. And I should point out the red on this bow and the red on this bow are not the same but I'm not gonna be picking bones at this point. And this is a, oh my goodness, there's a tag still on it. Okay. <laughs> That's why we have teeth, folks. Stop. <laughs> now my daughter's laughing at me. Well, you could have had it be the scissors, love. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's laughing at me. Uh, okay, so this is just size two, not 2T. And it's got three buttons up in the back. So, um, Marmy in German, uh, there's two ways of spelling it. So, M uh, in the book, Marmy is um, M A R M E E. And that is defined in Germany because there's different words with different definitions in the German language. So in the book, Little Women, um, Marmy is spelled M-A-R-M-E. And uh, that is to um, the definition of that is everlasting love for my children, okay? Or for the children. So either your own or others' children. Um, and excuse me a little bit. Oh, um, but the way I spell Marmy is M-A-R-M-I-E because in German, 
that is everlasting love for everything and everything being inclusive to pretty much um, everything that makes the world go round uh, in a sense of um, the circle of life, if you will. And so uh, that's why I changed the spelling of my name for my grandchildren. Now, I didn't know about the two different spellings. Uh, so what's interesting to note is that, and yes, I am struggling, folks, but that's okay. Uh, because, you know, some of you do struggle. Some, some of you that are watching me right now, some of you do struggle, right? So, like, it's good to watch somebody else struggle. Uh, you know, there's some of you out there that have had surgeries that need to see this. And that's okay, right? So, um, I, because I didn't know of the two spellings, um, my children would have had it spelled as M-A-R-M-E-E. -E. And um, I'm just doing up her buttons trying to do up her buttons. I'm going to have to lay her down again, folks. Sorry, Marley. Sorry, you're my little experimental baby today. Um, <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> um, but I vowed, I vowed my daughter. I said, no, I didn't care. I didn't care how terrible this video turned out. <laughs> I was going to post it for Theme Thursday because this little girl I have not had on my channel but twice, I believe, since I got her five months ago. And her Christmas dress was all ready, all there. And I just, uh, when Yvonne said it was black and white and red, I literally had her Christmas dress there. And I thought, I need to put this little girl in. And then I sat upstairs and um, I have this mirror, this uh, beautiful mirror that um, is like an antique swivel mirror. And uh, I saw how beautiful this little girl was and in my arms, you know, and uh, I, yeah, I think I'm going to put on this one. Uh, she doesn't have too many sweaters, but um, she has a pink one and she has this beige one. So, so yeah, I saw how beautiful she is. I mean, look at her. She's absolutely gorgeous. Her artist did a phenomenal job on her. So had I been uh, a marmy to my girls, I would have continued to be a marmy to my grandchildren, but I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have learned about the second spelling of marmy, uh, which is M-A-R-M-I-E. And um, I did a gifting program prior to the pandemic called Everything Marmy. And I will show that on one of my next videos I do if I can do it without showing my personal information on it. So it's uh, pretty much an extinct card now. But I used to do a gifting program and that was just simply visiting the elderly in my neighborhood. Where did we put your slippers, little girl? And um, they really were doing me a favor, these people. Uh, these slippers are the softest slippers called Biz UX. Let's see if I can get close enough so you guys can see. That's what the slipper is. So, um, but learning about having the one generation, uh, change um, from 
what my girls might have been called, you know, or I would have been called for my girls, to what my grand my grandchildren call me is nothing short of um, a miracle, essentially. Now, tell me, sweetheart. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You're not going to be able to get that in your hair. Because oh, you might not. I never even thought that this wasn't going to fit in her hair. I never thought to check that your head was going to be too big or too small for this. No, honey, it's okay. It doesn't fit in her hair. That's fine. Um, I'm doing something wrong here with this um, hair bow. It's a really odd one <laughs> that I, I made. And uh, uh, all I did was put Velcro here and here. But you know, folks, you know what they say, right? Measure twice, cut once. So we will somehow get it in her hair. I don't know how at this moment, but this, this ribbon underneath keeps wanting to do its own thing. So I can do something different. I can do something different, right? Sweet girl, it doesn't have to go all the way in the back. So what I'm gonna do instead is Velcro it back up and then just bring her hair up and compromise because sometimes that's what we have to do. Right, Molly? Sometimes we just have to make compromises in our life. So yeah, my grandbabies, I know, I know they're not, they're not grandbabies at all. They are definitely not. They're coming over because we are doing the decorations for uh, the, the tree at Marmee's on Saturday. And um, they're going to do some baking and um, we're gonna watch some Christmas shows. So <clears throat> this wasn't the best hair job. And like I said, folks, uh, I learned something from this because I really should have measured it out, but There she is, and it turned out okay in the end. And life is but a metaphor, really, because sometimes we start out thinking we can do things a certain way, and in the end we get there, which is why I asked my daughter to just sit and, uh, and let me do this. So, honey... Thank you. Um, this is Molly, everybody. She is the Alin Sculpt by uh, Connie Burke. And she's shy. She doesn't have Zuli with her. She's upstairs. I want to thank Yvonne for having you on. Uh, this week's theme was black and white and red. And she's my beautiful beautiful toddler. And um, I want to say, everybody, remember, remember that we are perfectly imperfect. We are loved, wanted, and needed. And this will be posted for December 1st. And uh, I just wanted to say with all my heart, if you're struggling, this too shall pass. And if it doesn't, you have my prayers and 
you are loved, wanted, and needed far, far more than you know. And I pray that you know that too. Anyway, folks, I'm going to put Molly down and press the off button. And I don't even know, like my sight's gone, so I don't even know how long I've been on here. But uh, Molly weighs 9.8 pounds. So, uh, and I'm lifting her. Uh, mind you, I'm using, I don't know if you can see my elbow. It's in my, my, my pants. Um, but when my grandchildren come, they're going to be flying at me and I'll have to like kind of slow them down. So uh, she is good practice for that. Aren't you sweet, darling? She's beautiful sculpt, folks. And it looks like her hair is starting to fall out, but I love her curls. Let me just try to inch for it just so I can show you her curls. I always do this. I go to say goodbye and I have the perfect ending and then I see a picture of her. Molly, honey, look up. Look up, darling. Look at her beautiful curls, folks. Oh my goodness. And anyway, folks, I wanted just to say one more time. Happy 1st of December. I hope each and every day of the month, each and every day, you all find something, something, no matter what, big or small, something to find joy in, because that is the season. And if you don't know, P.S., uh, please go to my video um, where I'm looking for a new name for a doll. I already know the name. I'm just looking for somebody to guess it. Um, and uh, I'll make that announcement sometime before Christmas, okay? Uh, so it's kind of one of those reverse contests. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to seat, sit, <laughs> sit Miss Molly back on oh, the, don't be so shy, sweetheart. Can we sit you back, maybe, so everybody can see you? Oh, my goodness. There, look up. There, have a little stuffy. There's a little lamb. We'll add an extra prayer for everybody. And we'll put your bear here. And prayer bear on the other side. Take off your clothes. My daughter's laughing at me, folks. She thinks I'm the most funny, funniest person in the world. She's just absolutely laughing because I have OCD. My daughter that's over there, by the way, she she is the one with the, the initials OCD. I'm just going to inch my way a little bit out of the screen here and stand up. And all that popping you heard, that's normal. There is Molly, folks, and happy December 1st. Be safe, everyone. Remember that uh, there's joys and, joy and blessings and everything, and I wish you a blessed and beautiful day. Bye for now.